Welcome to the channel. It's 9th edition 40k. It's boarding actions. It's World Eaters versus Astra Militarum. So today on the channel we're playing boarding actions, but this time we're back with Arcs of Omen Angron. We're going to try some of the new missions from Arcs of Omen Angron, and I get to play with the World Eaters. You gain additional strat stratagems, you gain additional enhancements, you gain additional relics, etc. And today we're playing Pull Their Teeth. It's one of the missions from the new boarding actions book. It looks like this. In fact, map-wise, we're going to put it like this. We have an attacker entry zone, which is that side of the board. We have a defender entry zone, which is this side of the board. And basically, it's about silencing the guns. So if you look here on the mission, there are three objectives. The attacker starts with a number of victory points. The defender has to do things to try and reduce said victory points by holding certain objectives. This is the control node, and these are the loaders. If you control the control node and you control loaders, you minus 10 to the attacker's victory points. If you don't control the control node, but you just control the loaders, you minus 5 from the attacker's victory points. The attacker gains 5 victory points if he controls the control node, but he doesn't gain any victory points for controlling the loaders that Joe's now just kindly placed for me. Hi, Joe. Hello. Joe's here. Hello. I just realised I didn't put any scattered terrain on the table. Not yet, you haven't, no. No. Should I do that now? If you, do you want to do, you want to put scattered terrain on the table? I could do. It makes it a bit more fancy. <laughs> We'll do that in a second. So it is World Eaters versus Guard. I think we're supposed to roll off, but I feel like in this circumstance, the World Eaters probably should be the attackers. Mm, makes sense. But do we roll off anyway? Because attacker always goes first. Oh, yeah. And I don't know if there's a benefit or to going first or second or whether we should just roll off. There you go. So who goes first and who goes second? You rolled a two, Joe. I rolled a two, Joe. We do this every time now. You're a six, Joe. I'm on a two, Joe. Would you like to be the attacker or the defender? I'll be the defender. Cool, I'll go first. Up. Yeah, <laughs> you're the defender. So the Astro Tara are defending this planet. They're defending their weapons platforms. They're defending the big guns. And the World Eaters are here to silence them. Let's go take a look at the boarding patrols. So here is my 500-point boarding patrol of World Eaters. Super simple, super aggressive, super angry. Headed up by Khan. Khan's a named character, so he doesn't get an enhancement. But he's pretty terrifying anyway. He has two troop choices. One side of him is a unit of box standard five berserkers the other side is a bog standard unit of five berserkers with the heavy chain blade because i had five points spare and then behind him i have three exalted eight bound nice that's it joe nothing fancy that's it just 500 points done 14 models off we go however 500 points of astro Matarum looks a little bit different joe doesn't it it does it does so uh here's my warlord i've got a cadian castellan um and i've got a, a commissar I've got three units of um, Cadian Chuck Troopers. Yeah. I've got a, a unit of Kassakin. Yeah. And then this unit that looks a lot like Kassakin. But they're not Kassakin. They're Scions. Yeah. Um, um, I thought they had regimental doctrines, but as as we kind of did some digging, turns out they don't. <laughs> yeah, I thought... <laughs> they don't. Um, so the unit that has the chainsword has exploding sixes. And the unit that doesn't have... Because the, they're Scions. They're Scions. And the unit that doesn't have the Chainsword has his sixes to hit auto wounds. Yeah. What's his enhancement, his Warlord trait? Does he have one, Jay? Have you fixed a Warlord trait? Um, God, do have those, don't they? They do have those in, in Arcs, Roman, Angron. I was, so, I was thinking that the, the Open Doors one probably makes more sense with Guard. Does it, though, if you have World Eaters coming through at you? That makes sense. Uh, I've got Superior Tactical Training. Yeah. So I can make him... If I made the Commissar the Warlord, then he can take Officer yeah. orders. Yeah, you get more orders. Which is good. Um, although it probably makes more sense if, if for her to have Perfectus orders, because then she can issue Get Back in the Fight. This is now Joe thinking. Yeah. So the Castellan is getting the Warlord Enhancement, which is called Superior Tactical Training, and he's going to give the Castellan Perfectus Orders because it gives her access to get back in the fight mm. because the Guard are expecting to be in close quarters combat with the World Eaters. Yeah, I kind of felt that probably becomes an auto for most Guard armies on boarding actions, though. Possibly. Because you're going to be fighting a lot, aren't you? Possibly. Yeah. Probably. Mm. Almost definitely. Mm. Should we go deploy? Yes. Let's do it. And so we're deployed for this 500-point boarding actions mission. The guard are the defenders. They have one, two, three, four zones that they can deploy in. We've got some Cadians, some Cadians, some Cadians. The commissars here, the other officers in here, because officers can join in a single deployment zone. Then we have 
Cats are kind of scions here, Joe. Cats are kind. Cats are kind of here. The scions are often reserved because if you can't fit them in one of the spaces, you can't put them on the table. They can then come in and turn to in one of these spaces if they've been vacated by a current unit. Over here, we've got two of berserkers in my attacking zones there, and a unit of eight bound and Khan in attacking in attacking zone there. Super easy, super simple. Attackers go first, by the way, Joe. There is no roll off at this point. Yeah, and then we both start with one CP. We both start with one CP. Yeah. And we and then I go up to buy one CP. No, I think it's just the Battleforge CP bonus is in boiling actions at the start of each player's command phase before doing anything else, both players gain one CP. So start the one CP and then gain one CP for the start of my turn. So we're on two each. Yes. Yes? I don't know if you start the game with one CP. You I just can't... said they start the game with one CP. Right, Joe can find out. I'm going to do my movement phase. End of the world eaters movement phase and end of the world eaters turn. So we did start with a CP and then we gained one each at the start of the command phase. The eight bound and Khan advanced this doorway here. This unit of the berserkers advanced around here. This unit moved around here and opened the door. Nice. Coming for you, Joe. Mm. Coming for you. Nice. Asmodotarum, turn one coming up next. And we both gained command point. Wee. Wee. So the guard have moved. They've stepped left here. They've ran round the corner here as unsuspecting victims. They've pushed onto this objective here. They've reinforced here and they've stepped out here, Jay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So I've got seven las guns to shoot with them. Is that it? And then a plasma gun. Is that all you've got to shoot? Yeah. That's everything because nothing else can see, nothing else can shoot. Right, good doors. Cool, I'll spend one of my CPs. What's that? Five up for no penny at shooting. Okay. So I missed you three times. The six auto wounds yes. and also explodes. Because Cadians. Cadians. And then fives. So two wounds. So far. So I have three plus armor saves. Yeah. <laughs> cool, okay, we're good. A plasma gun. Pew, pew, pew. Hits and auto wounds. Done. Minus good. Uh, three. So six up save. I failed. Um, just one damage. I didn't overcharge it. You didn't overcharge it. Five up for no pain. Oh, it still takes a wound. I wasted a CP. So one of the guys at the back takes a wound. Nice. Yeah, nice. Isn't the closest has to take it? Eh? I thought the, close, the closest... It's just a person who's in line of sight, so where's the plasma gun? There. Oh no, it doesn't have to be, does it? I don't know anymore. Well, it's been know. so long since it we played been, boarding actions. It has been a while. They've gone a bit <laughs> mad with the rules, though. They've so gone I, very I mad with the rules, though. The rules are anymore. That's into the Astro Militarum's turn one. Importantly, they control the control node and they control one of the supplies, yeah. which means if I don't stop them from doing both of those things, they'll start taking points off of me because I start on 60 victory points. Yeah, yeah. so it's like a countdown, isn't it? Really? So currently, because you control that one and that one, mm. I believe you minus 10 off of my total. In your turn? Or... In your command phase. Okay. I believe. In my command phase, I get no points because I don't hold the central one. No. And I think if you hold... I don't... I don't... Read the rules. Stuff. So we return at the end of the World Eaters movement phase. Khan's pushed up here to this doorway. The 8 bound spent 1 CP to brutally murder their way through said doorway. Yeah. And then come and face off against your uh, your little guardsman right there. Mm. Because I can do that. I can just bash through a doorway. That doorway can now never be closed. Oh. Been brutally opened by world eaters. Well, that's silly, isn't it? Over here, berserkers. Many berserkers. Yeah. Guardsmen. Nice. Already shot, so they weren't set to Overwatch. No. Tasty. I mean, they probably did the same amount of damage. Had so I'm them. going to do some charging, Jay. Yeah. So we these the these guys can't fail their charge. We'll roll it. Whoop. We made a six inch charge. Yeah. Spend another CP over here for the berserkers. So they three d six charge. Yeah. They only need a five. Discard the lowest. Cool, so that's why I did 3d6 to discard the lowest, just in case. So they're going to come right up to here, like this. Yep, yep, yep. 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 Like that, right? Cool, they're in. And these little cheeky chappies, they're now in combat as well. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Fucking stupid objective. You get the picture, they're in combat, Joe. Right, yeah. cool. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't feel like it makes any difference. We're going to start over here. I should mention to you all, I gave him the super choppy sword rather than the big damage sword. So he gets 12 attacks. I think right. he gets 12. He's an exalted 8 bound. I need to grab the codex quickly. So, his heavy chain glaive is 2 attacks for every attack. So, it is, in fact, 12 attacks. And because I'm exalted 8 bound, I hit you on 2s. That's many hits. I hit yeah. you 11 times. And I am strength 6. So, 2s. 7 even. So, 2s. Yeah. And I'm minus 3. Well, they did. No, I've missed three times, Joe. Oh, one is alive. Only nine of them died. I'll take the other one off as well. Oh, <laughs> so the other two eight bound, exalted eight bound also hit on twos and they're also strength seven. Yeah. 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 
So that unit's murderified. Yeah. Cool. And then over here? Interestingly, in boarding actions, I don't get a blood tithe point. Interesting. I only get blood tithe points if my units die. How many... Um... If your units die? Yes. That's weird. silly, isn't it's, it? Yeah, it's weird. Uh, how many attacks each do you get? Uh, five attacks per model, apart from the sergeant who gets another one. So 20... Something attacks, isn't it? Yeah, but I hit worse and I wound worse. I tell you what, I'll spend a command, but I can't. I haven't got the KDM one. <laughs> You've only got the boarding action stratagems, Jay. I'll probably I'll just do with them. You've got twenty million attacks. Yeah, yeah, I could not. I could whiff here. What's your save? Five plus. Oh, yeah. So they're just dead. They're probably dead. Yeah. So I've got to pick up all these dice to hit you with. Oh, hang on, I need the sergeant. Extra one in there to hit you with all the normal chain swords, berserker chain blade weapons. Yeah. But I only hit on threes this time. Yeah. See, I missed you loads. Sneaky guardsman ducking out of the way of my chain swords. So you are strength six on the charge. So uh, I am strength twos. six on the charge and minus two. Yeah. So you're killing me on twos. So we're going to roll twos. See? See, Joe, we're giving you a chance here. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight die, and then miss with a heavy Jane Blade will swing. Yeah. He hits on threes. See? Mm -hmm. He wounds on twos. Oh, oh the unit's you know, dead. <laughs> <laughs> I can pile in because I can end in in, in piling range of another unit. Whoop, like that, see? So mm -hmm. I can do it. Which is cool. Tasty. Cool. Beautiful. Bungie, you can just get back in the fight, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Killed another unit guardsman. Tasty. Oh, Many I, Cadians died this day. Do I get to fight you then? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I mean, Karsakin aren't terrible. Oh, they're Scions, aren't they? I don't know what Scions do in combat. Are they as good as Karsakin? Well, have a look. Probably. We'll get, we'll get rid of all these Cadians over here as well. Many guardsmen died defending this, um, this stronghold. Turns out Scions also get two attacks each. They are, in fact, as good, if not a bit worse. Then, um, yeah. what do they call them? Karsakin. Karsakin. I need that again, really. So you need fives again, because I'm tough to score, because I'm a space marine. Two. Just the two, actually. Yeah. Where's the other one? Oh. Thank you. Uh, no AP, I assume? No AP. Three ups. You kill a space marine, Joe. I killed one. This man is now dead. Yeah, yeah he's dead. He killed, he's kaput, he's ended. You've killed a single space marine. Good. Hmm. Good, though. That is I, the end of World Eaters Turn 1. I don't feel like that's a great exchange. <laughs> uh, 20 models. But, you know... No. Yeah. So we're going to move into Astromotarum turn uh, two. Yeah. We both gain a command point, uh, but you don't control any of the loaders. No. So you don't take any points off of me or gain any points for yourself. No. At the moment. It stays the same. It stays 60 nil currently to World Eaters. Yeah. As we move into Astromotarum turn two. Mm. See if you can recover. So the guardsmen have tried to consolidate their position. The Kazakin, no, Kazakin Scions, are, it's very confusing, Joe, when they look the same. Yeah. The Scions have fallen out of combat and the Commissar has told them to get back in the fight. Yeah. And so they have kneeled. They have a front row kneeling. It's basically what they should be doing in front of Corn Berserkers anyway. Yeah. And the rear rank stood behind me to open for the Corn Berserkers. The Castellan has ordered that unit to... Sort of that unit to... Um, take aim. Take aim. And then they've overwatch. Yeah. They've put themselves in overwatch, right? Yeah. And then she's run this way to get in range of this unit over here. This unit have held position in the middle. They can hear their colleagues They're dying. All set overwatch as well. They're also set to overwatch. That makes oh, perfect sense. Um, okay. Perfect. We're done, Joe. We're good. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you're going to do some shooting here. Yeah. And you've used something, a stratagem. A stratagem, which means that uh, oh, supercharged lads, which basically means that Kaskin and Scions, they just do the mortal wounds on moon, moon rolls of sixes, but only to a maximum of three. So I'll spend one CP again for my yeah. feel no pain against shooting attacks. So these are the volley guns. Yes, yes. I leave all the ones because I moved her within six Of course. Of them. And the Scions, they hit on threes instead of fours. Yeah, and then I'm wounding you on fours because it's strength four. Strength four? Oh, it's volley gun, isn't yeah. it? Of course it is, okay. So that is two mortal wounds. Yep. And then that many saves at minus three. Minus three? On a hot shot volley gun. Minus two. Mikey. Minus three. Just let me choose. I'm going to roll some dice. Uh, either way, they all fail, Joe. Oh, okay. So six six so far. So I have to roll eight, five up for no pains. Correct? Yes. I rolled three, Joe. Good. So one, two and a half die. So one, two... And one will take a you know wound. Silly, right? Only two units in the game can take hot shot volley guns and they haven't put that weapon profile on them. That's a bit silly, isn't it? Hot shot lance pistol? No. Joe, either way, either way, they died. 
It's it is minus two. It's fine. It's minus two. Well, then you get the rest of your volley guns because they, they die anyway. I roll fours. Okay. So there is a hot shot pistol. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Hitting me on threes, re rolling the ones. Uh, hit re rolling ones. Because of the. <sighs> Stellan. Sixes explode. But they don't auto wound. Right. Uh, there's loads of twos in there, Jake. <laughs> I, I know how keen you are to kill Berserk. Let me cheat, right? <laughs> Five. Well, that's... Okay, so no more wounds, which is a bonus for me. Yeah. But there are five at minus two. Yeah. Good. So I saved two. So you've done it statistically perfectly enough to kill the unit. Yeah. But I have five at no pace. Oh no! There's a save, Joe! This guy lives on a. The sergeant lives on. Mr. the sergeant lives on a wound remaining. Oh. oh it's okay, though, because your commissar can't shoot. Actually, half of these shouldn't have shot, really, because Why? you needed to leave gaps between your bases, because you can't shoot through even your own models in your own unit. Even then, there's space. So you need to make sure you... There you go, like that, right? There you go. Right. Well, then... How what's, long... How, what's the range of her pistol? Well, she advanced, but she can't. Oh, dear. Oh, uh, dear. I will spend an extra CP, then. Yeah. I was supposed to do it in my movement phase. That's fine. What is it for? Uh, basically, it means you can shoot and charge. Okay, yeah, okay. Or I can spend another one CP for volley fire. Uh, use this stratagem at the end of your shooting phase, select one Astra Militarum infantry squad. Now, does that mean infantry squad, the unit infantry squad, or does it mean infantry squad because they are a, a unit of infantry? No, it will mean infantry squad, the unit infantry uh, squad. Lame. That's silly. It's one stratagem you can only spend on. Trash. Standard Guardsman. Is that yeah. fire again, is it? Basically, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that will be just infantry squads. Uh, well, I'm done then in that case. So you're not going to charge for the 1CP? I'm okay yeah, with it if I'll you want to do it. We'll charge. I know you would have had to have done it in your movement phase, but there's a new strategy to both of us. Yeah. I'm going to spend my last CP, Jay. What's that then? Fight on death. Okay. I mean, the unit is dead next turn anyway. Why are you moving the commissar? He's not part of the unit. He's not part of the unit. So, right then. Uh, one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. That's with Joe. I love you, Joe. Five, six. One of my favourite humans. Seven. Seven. Eight. Sergeant. Chainsword. And we are hitting you on fours this time. Did I? Did I? Was I smart? That wasn't great. It wasn't great. I was expecting better there. Well, I've done one whole wound. That's enough, Joe. Yeah. I just have to fail my three-up armour save. I didn't fail my three-up armour save. I didn't need to spend the CP to fight on death, but yeah. I thought you were actually going to kill him. I was hopeful. Threes. I mean, I'm giving you the best possible chance of being yeah. swarmed by guards when you're hanging off my arms. One is dead. It's minus two. Your scions. Four-up saves. Oh, yeah. You have six plus. Oh, All right. So you okay. live. Nice. See? I'll keep I'll keep what I can. Life of a guardsman, yeah. you're okay. Right, cool. End yeah. your turn, Joe. Yes. Beautiful. Means world eaters turn three. I gain a CP, you gain a CP. Up to four. I gain no victory points, I lose no victory points. We move into the movement phase. Mm. Coming up next. So we're back after the world eaters movement phase, and we worked out this is a slightly terrible mission. What I could have done is just stay back on this objective here, stay back on this objective here. I don't lose any points, you don't score any points, I win. Yeah. But that's super boring. So what we did is we stepped off of the objective here with Berserkers to come and help out our little cheeky chappy friend over here. Uh, and then the 8 bound spent my 1CP to burst through that door again. Yeah. Can't open that door, but kept out of line of sight. Just a little gentle... Uh, like that, yeah. Joe, right? And then we're ready to do some charging. You can overwatch me. I will overwatch you. You're, so, you're on sixes, but you've got volley guns as well. So you've got lots of shots. Volley guns. All miss. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. Seven. Pistol. Sixes. Two. Two hits. The hit auto wound. That's a pass. It's four up and vulnerable save. Oh, good. One takes a wound. One takes a wound. So over here, the eight bound have a three inch charge. We make a ten inch charge, Joe. Yeah. And over here, the berserkers also have a three inch charge. We make a seven inch charge. So we'll do those now. And so we'll start with the Exalted 8 bound. Uh, we have 12 attacks for Mr. The Sergeant because he gets 5 attacks base plus 1 for charging and he has the Heavy Chain Glaive which trades attacks in for 2 attacks for every attack. Pretty tasty. Uh, we're going to hit you on 2s, Joe. Nice, nice. 
I'm I'm still trying to keep you in this game here, look. I've missed you three times. I kill you on DJ. Uh, so I've killed... <laughs> Jesus Christ, I've killed nine of them. What's the minus? Three. So, yeah, they're dead. <laughs> yeah. They're dead. And, and then the other two I haven't fought yet. Good. So they're all dead. Yes. We're going to come over here with my berserkers. Uh, I've got to grab a load of dice for these. Okay, Joe, I have many attacks with my more normal berserker chain blades hitting you on threes. So I have, again, worked very hard to try and keep you in the game. And then I'm strength six on the charge. Yeah. <laughs> Winning you on twos. And these are AP minus two. Yeah. So I get six up saves. You get six up saves, Joe. You can do it. Oh, dear. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. <laughs> I mean, that is probably what should happen when a berserker but hits a guardsman. More, more than likely. Yes. More than likely. I said him a turn, Joe. <laughs> Joe, we're going to move into Imperial Guard turn three. Is that right? I've got one unit of infantry. Oh, these are all dead as well, aren't they? Those That's the point, dead. yeah. A Castellan. Yeah. And a Commissar. Yeah. Um, and I'm not getting past them. There's no point me... Staying there, but if I leave, I don't hold the objective, which means I can't stop you from scoring points. Yeah, correct. Mm. Mm. So what's going to happen, Joe? What are you going to do with your brave guardsmen? <sighs> um, she'll tell them to take aim, I guess. Yes. And then she'll walk over here, and then he'll... Come and punch the one berserker that's got one wound left. Yeah. For glory. For the emperor. On that. Yeah? yeah? Cool. And then they'll go... Oh no, because they haven't got enough movement to actually be able to see you. No, that's so. the, that was the plan. Yeah. So. <laughs> Overwatch. <laughs> Overwatch. Yeah, I guess. It's a murder fest today, team. Yeah. On board spaceship battle barge McFloaty bus. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. There we go. I'll last pistol. I'll bo last pistol you. Pew! Hit you hit me. I didn't win you. You don't win me. I'll charge you now. You will. Like that. Yeah, you've, you've charged me, Jay. A Commissar gets three attacks. Three attacks. I've hit you three times, though. You have? Um, one wound? You have wounded me, Jay. No, mind. It's still got to change. You I killed him, Jay! Him. I killed him. I get a blood tithe point. Did you want to spend the CP to fight on death? No, no, no. I would have had to declare that at the start. I won't pile in. <laughs> no? Um, no? You sure? Yeah. <laughs> End of the after time turn? Yeah. Cool. I go to 5 CP. Well, it is turn four. Mm. Coming up next. So Mr. the Guardsman did overwatch into the eight bounty bust through the door. And they did cause six wounds. And I did fail four saves, Jay. Five saves, Jay. Oh, no, there's no minus to them. Oh, no, take, take eight. Minus, minus one. one AP, yeah. yeah. So that kills one who had yeah. taken a wound. That kills another one. And then I, I'm going to overcharge a plasma gun. It's just the sergeant alive. There's a hit and an auto wound. I fail my safe. Nice. It takes nice. two damage. Oh no, the three hits as well. Take uh, an overwatch. It's six, Jay. Six is an overwatch. So I take two wounds as a sergeant. Does the exploding sixes, in, is that only las weapons? No, it's everything. No, it is just las weapons actually, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Positive? No. It's worth checking. Cool. We'll check it, because you never know. Cool, cool. Okay, you killed two eight bound. Look at you go. That's pretty impressive. Over here, these five berk berserkers circled round that particular commissar. He is not long for this world. If you can quickly find out, Joe, and I'll keep spinning the narrative. Uh, Khan's going to... Oh, it's a las pistol or las gun. Khan's going to shoot his plasma pistol. <laughs> Hits. <laughs> One of them's been blown off the face of the planet. <laughs> Charges. Khan is in. Eight bound is in. Berserkers are in. And we haven't seen Khan fight yet, so we'll do him first. Ten attacks with Gore Child hitting you on twos. So he's hit you nine of the times and wounding you on twos. Nice. So I've killed seven of them so far. Nice. And then Mr. The Eight Bound, he'll fight. With his 12 attacks. He's only got 12 attacks. I actually didn't think there was much point in these big swingy weapons for eight bound, but now I'm kind of starting to see it, Joe. For boarding actions, it makes sense. So hitting you on twos because I'm exalted. Cool. And then <laughs> killing on twos. On twos. Re roll the ones though, because Khan. No, they're not core. Oh. They're exalted eight bound. Oh, they're all dead. But they are also all dead. I mean, he did 11. He killed 11 on his own. Yeah. I'm going to spend the CP and interrupt with my my chap, my commissar. Do it. Oh, I've hit you. He's angry. He's not that angry though, is he? No. no. 
Okay, so this squad doesn't have a big heavy chain blade. Oh, no. So I just have 26 attacks with my normal weapons. I'll just okay. leave dead. Uh, excuse me. Don't take my glory away from me, Joe. That many attacks. 14 refractor field save, Joe's. 14 refractor field save. Oh, he's dead. He's very dead. There we go. Cool, okay. Let's remove all of our casualties. And at the end of World Eaters turn four. Yeah. There's a cast that left. <laughs> Are you gonna force me to take a turn? You could kill that eight band, he's got one wound left. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> Bolt pistol. Hits. Yeah. Wound. It does wound! Oh no! Oh, I saved. Oh, then I'll charge you. Yeah, you will. There we go. You're in. And then she gets four attacks with her power sword. Oh wow. Hit you. Doesn't wound you. Okay. I'll CP reroll because I got a CP. There we go. Okay. She's dead now. She's not going to die yet. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so I've got no models left. <laughs> so in battle round five, I gain five victory points. Yeah. yeah. And then in battle round five, nothing happens. So it ends, it ends Joe. Yeah. 65 points to the world eaters to zero to the guard. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I feel like it's a bad mission. It's a pretty terrible mission, it's isn't it? Terrible mission. We randomly generated it, though. Yeah. We just picked it at random. We that just picked it at random. Cool. I was like, I haven't read any of the missions. I'm going to do this one because the layout looks cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no, we're going to film. Because you, I don't get any points off of you if I only hold the control node. No, so correct. you have to hold two things. At least. But as, then, a, as a defender, you have to hold two things to take five points. No, 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 no. Oh. If you hold an ammo dump, and only an ammo dump, you take five points off of me and you gain five points. If you hold an ammo dump and a control node, for each ammo dump you hold, you gain ten points and take ten off of me. Hmm. So you could have just held the ammo dumps. The problem you have is, where I start, it's very easy for me to get to the ammo dumps. Yeah. So, especially with world eaters, you don't really want to be holding ammo uh, dumps. I just... But if you hold the control node... Which is the only one you can get to relative ease. It means nothing. Well, it doesn't mean nothing if you hold the ammo dumps. Because mm. instead of getting five, you get but ten. But against the combat army, you can't. You, it's impossible. No. Yeah. I, I still think this game massively favours combat army. I, I think, have. I think, I, said, I, guess, I, I think if you pre-balance all of your games with your friends in advance... And I think I have thoughts. Better. I have lots of thoughts on boarding yeah. actions, but I feel like this is possibly a Liam and Joe topic for Tuesday. Mm. So at the point at which you guys are watching this is Saturday. I feel like this is a Liam and Joe topic for Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Should we get ready for game two, which is going to be for our members? Yeah. Let's do that. Mm.